Thanks, Paul. Um, video today is a quick demonstration of um, a new feature they've added to CTrader 3.7 that I missed out from the previous video. It's to do with CTrader Automate and how the parameter settings are displayed. So I'm going to go straight into CTrader Automate now. Okay, when you go into it, I'm going to open up one of our robots and just add an instance. Okay, so I've actually already moved the parameter window up there, but when you start, this window would be down here when you first open it. If you don't see it, if you press F11, if your chart looks like this when you first start CTrader, or you might have a different background, it might be black, just press F11 and it will come up with the panel at the bottom. And then from here, you can see your parameters. Now you can leave them there. These are the parameters for the symbol that you can also access by clicking on the little icon here, the gear icon. And in the past, if you edited, edited your settings here and clicked away, the window disappears. So what they've done, they've made it static now, and also you can drag it up to here. So now when you're running your, your tests on CTrader Automate or you're running your automated trading system, you can easily adjust the parameters now and then click the start button to run the robot. I'm not sure if it does it for backtesting, Obviously with backtesting, you've got the same thing. You can actually now go into backtesting, edit your backtest settings here, and then change the values and run backtests. So this is also a very good feature. I didn't notice this actually first, first time around, but if you're running a backtest on CTrader, every time you wanted to try a different setting, you had to go into the gear icon, modify the parameters. You know, if you click away, it disappears, and then you had to run it again. Now you can just have all your settings listed out in a nice clean view, you can resize it. So now you can see it all, whereas previously in here, it might have been squashed up, not sure. So yeah, it's a much better way of added, um, editing your parameter settings, running back tests, or just running your robots in general. So that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, quickly before I do go, one thing I did also missed last time is if you click on any of these news releases, it comes up with a description of the news down there. I didn't show that last time. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.